Hi guys, so I did start the video at 10 but for some reason nobody was joining the video so there must have been some sort of internet problem. We'll just run on. Um, we are training glutes and chest so you need a kettlebell or a dumbbell and if you've got a... What have I got here? I've definitely got one that involves a band. Yeah. Mm, yes, you'll need a long band if you've got one. Yeah, I thought that. Um, people are just saying it wouldn't connect. I don't know what it was. I started it at 10 and I was like, right, nobody's doing this live. I've got a day off. <laughs> but here you guys are and we will smash it out. Um, my stomach is killing me. Last night, I wouldn't recommend anybody to do this, right? But I've started dieting again. And last yesterday we went to the beach. I'll just get music set up. And last night, um, before bed, I still had loads of calories. And this was the tastiest thing I've ever done. I got a Rice crispy Square out the cupboard. And then I got Skinny Spread. And I put the Skinny Spread on the Rice crispy Square. And it was amazing. But I've woke up this morning and it's played absolute havoc with my stomach. I've not had a Rice crispy Square in like, I don't know, maybe about two months. Sometimes I use them as post-workout. But, uh, aye, it's fucking... It's been killing me all morning so uh, as much as as much as that was wondrous like one of the most unreal things I've tasted I wouldn't be doing that again <laughs> right um music and then we'll get warmed up so like I said you will need a a long resistance band and a kettlebell chest and glutes so not something that would usually go together, but they actually marry together quite well for some moves. So let's just start rolling the wrists. And hands on your shoulders, big rolls. On the way. <laughs> and hands up. One one way, one the other. On the way. Hands on the hips, feet wider than shoulders, big circles. Other way. Oh. Okay, we're going to roll down. So rolling down and just let the head hang and the arms hang. And just a small bounce. Trying to get into that lower back and hamstrings. And glutes. And rolling up, reach, reach, reach. Open the chest, get on your toes. Coming back down, roll back down. And roll it up. Reach, reach, reach. We're going to take the hands to the back. Clasp the hands. Pop the chest. Just stretch the chest up to the ceiling. Roll the shoulders back and forwards. Opening the chest. And relax. Right, we'll just get started. So, a bit of a chest session. We are going to start with some push-ups. But we're going to start with the easy ones today. So the wide ones, we're going to do three rounds. If you need to do them on your knees, that's totally fine. We're aiming for three rounds of 10. Um, 
if you are quite comfortable doing 10 push-ups already, then do them slow and it'll be harder. So count one, two, three, hold her two, one, two, three. Right? Three sets of ten. Let's know. Let's know fuck about it. So get any position. Hands wider than shoulders. Make sure you have full contact with the floor. If you're going on your feet, get into plank position. If you're going on your knees, make sure your knees go further back. And first thing you do is push the floor away and bend at the elbows. Here we go. Three. Good. And relax. Easy. We'll go again. Another ten. And five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. Back in position. Push the floor away first and bend at the elbows. And relax. Again, if you started on your feet, you can move to knees if you want. If you started on your knees and you're feeling confident, then do a few on your feet and drop to knees. Right, going in again, last time. And five, four, three, two, one. Push the floor away, bend at the elbows. And relax. 30 push-ups, done. Right? We are going to go for some harder push-ups now. So these are the these are the ones that you guys don't like, right? But that's the thing. If we always just do the things we like, then we won't get better at anything. So we are going to get excuse me while I fix my hair. We're going to get and do narrow push-ups. And for the people that are good at them. We're going to do them with a slide, right? With a toe push. So I'll show you what that means. We're only going to do three sets of five. Uh-huh. Because these are pretty hard, right? If you are at the stage where you're still struggling with narrow push-ups, just do these on your knees, right? Don't do the slide. So your options here are five narrow push-ups on your knees right that's the easiest option five narrow push-ups on your toes that's the intermediate option the advanced option is that we go narrow push-up push your toes forwards push your toes back come up narrow push-up forwards back up so what i'm doing there is when i come down in fact, I'll show you what I'm doing with my feet. I'll show you for this direction. So you maybe don't see the upper half of me, but I've got my hands in the narrow push-up position uh, and my toes are here. When I come down, I push forwards on the toes and then come back and push up. You go down further than that though. That was a lazy one for me. Right, so that's what we're trying. Now, if you want to get to the end one and be able to do the kind of slide, um obviously you need to attempt the first ones on your knees they're going to be hard but try to push your full body weight on your triceps which many people don't really train so it's a good thing that it's hard it will challenge you right let's go so get in the narrow push-up position straight away we're going to push the floor away so hands under shoulders for this i'm going to do the advanced one right push the floor away here we go. Narrow, forwards, back, and up. 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 Last one. Narrow, forwards, back, and up. Relax. I'm going to go again. And that is going to be the last push-ups from this round of exercises. Well, you'll want me to push-up in here later on. 
Again, again, another five. Up to you what you do. You've got your beginner on the knees, your intermediate on your feet, and your advanced with the slide. Getting into position. Push your floor away. Here we go. Good, come on. Easy. Smile through it. And relax. Smiling helps everything. Do you know that it's scientifically proven that even if you're in a bad mood and you do a fake smile, so if you're fucking raging and you go, it convinces your body, the actual movement, the action, convinces your body that there's happiness. <laughs> And it releases the hot happiness feeling, the hormone. Um, so yeah, you can actually smile your way out of a mood. I found that dead interesting when I studied that. Right, last time. So just smile through the pain. Here we go. Get in the position, hands fully connected with the floor. Straight away, we push the floor away. Right, here we go. Narrow. Forwards, back, and up. Narrow, forwards, back, and up. Narrow, forwards, back, up. Two, go. Last one. And up. Good. Right, get your wrists a wee roll. Especially if you've done the forward and back. Um, that is not going to be pleasant on your wrists. Simply because you're pushing all your weight over the top of them. It's a bit like... It's a bit like how your ankles take the weight when you squat. That was what your wrists just did. So we're going to get into a move that will in time improve that move for us, which is a pal off press. I've done this before. When I do it in a private group, right, for my clients, this is terrible, but I'll share it with you because it makes, it actually makes it so much easier. It makes the move so much easier. So. Basically what we're doing is you hold your kettlebell or your dumbbell and we're going push forwards, right, straight forwards. Now, after a while, that becomes pretty hard. So we were doing it one day and I said, listen, just imagine you're smacking your ex in the face with a kettlebell and honestly, the motivation was right. So now we just call it the fuck your ex in the face. So we go, boom, boof, fuck you, no teeth, right? It makes it so much easier, honestly. Just get that in your head. It doesn't need to be your ex, it can just be somebody you don't like. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that move, right? That is gonna give us renewed motivation. And <laughs> then we're gonna get into a slight incline chest press. So you're gonna need something to lean against, like, um, like the bed, or your, uh, your couch, or a step, or, I'm going to go against the bed, so I'm just going to go here. You do want your shoulders on, you don't just want it to be your neck. And we're going to press here with your two kettlebells or your band, right? So a slight incline, fuck you in the face, straight into the slight incline. I know, I have always said that I'm going to write an exercise book where I just make up the names for all the exercises. But honestly, wait till you see the motivation this gives you. So, Let's hit it. Get your, you need your two kettlebells for when we get into the press, or your two dumbbells, or your band for the press. And, right, here we go. So, pal of press, upright. One, two, three, four. Easy. I don't condone violence, by the way. I'd never smack anybody in the face with a kettlebell. I'm from Scotland, I'd just teetle them. Bum! Anyway. <laughs> right, so we're at that stage you now, it's getting a wee bit difficult. So that's when you want to get some. Oh, bum! There you go, take that. Boof. Fuck you. Bash. Bop. Native. Broken jaw. Nose. <laughs> Ten to go. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, come on, three, two, one. Relax, take it into the chest press. So we move into a position 
where your upper half is supported and get both uh, both your weights because we need one for each side. Now this is quite a high incline depending on what uh, <laughs> what your <you're> <laughs> if you stop laughing and start working it this is going to be quite a high incline depending on what you're bracing yourself on. So if you feel it slightly in your shoulders don't be surprised because you might not be Ideally, we'd be at 45 degrees, right? But obviously, we'll not at 45 degrees, depending on if you're on your couch, you might be up a bit higher than this. So the main thing that you want to remember during this is that we push your chest up like that. So I could sit like that and do it. It's not really going to get the chest. I want to push my boobs up to the ceiling first, right? And get in that position. So everybody get ready. I'll give you a few seconds. Push the chest up to the ceiling and we are doing a straight up push, okay? Don't come forwards like that, that's pretty dangerous. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. One. Take your time on the way down. Good. Keep breathing. Keep it slow on the way down. Keep that chest up. Keep breathing. Keep pushing. Ten you go. Ten. Keep the chest up. Five. Three, two, one. Relax. Ooh. That was quite heavy going because we did all the push-ups. Well, I'm just using um, my kettlebells are just six kilo each, so nothing too heavy. Uh, yeah. Oh, right, that's us done the first round. So we need to get we need to get working into these these glutes. Yeah. Right. We're going to. Uh, we're going to take this in to a flat chest press so you'll need your kettlebells again or if you would rather use a band if you need to, if you need if that was hard there and you want it to be slightly lighter then just use a band wrap it on your back and push for there i'm going for a flat chest press with a glute bridge so a floor press really so we're here uh -huh. you've got your weights and we go Press, bring them down, glute bridge, bring it down. Press, glute bridge. You get the idea. Then we're going for completely glutes. We're going to flip that round and go for a kick back with a pulse. So, I'm trying to think the best way. Uh, I know he's doing this, like the length, but like you can't see the length. So, basically, what we're going to do is hands, uh, shoulders directly under hips, hands under shoulders and we're going to kick back, right, and then we're going to pulse, so it's not a big movement, right, it's not coming from my lower back, that is no movement, it's coming from my butt cheek, butt cheek, butt cheek, butt cheek, I feel like that could be in a song, <laughs> right, so a really, really small uh, squeeze of the butt cheek, um, then we're going in. Oh, why have I written this? Right, then we're going into the bear presses. So this is the, the last and final push up. This is hard, right? If um, if you can't do this, do it on your knees. So what I would actually like you to do again, try to figure out which way this would I fit all myself in. We've been on our hands and knees because we've just done the kickbacks for the pulses, right? And what you're meant to do, I probably hit my head off the door here, but fuck it. Come onto your toes, right? And then we want your knees to float. So you just pull them up just above the floor. And that's where we do your press. With the knees just floating. If the knees are up here, right? We want the knees just floating above the floor, okay? Can you do that? Stay on your knees. So, 
If you can't bring your uh, bring your knees up and do a press, just keep them where they are, put them out a wee bit further and go for this. But in this one, I want you to try and keep your weight slightly forward from your normal push-up because that's kind of where the weight goes when we're doing the bear press. You're kind of forced forward a tiny bit. And then we're going to go for an upright thrust. Yes, we are. An upright right thrust with a pet fly. So you get your band and sling it around your back. And what we're doing is ankles together, knees apart. We're going to thrust and pet fly at the same time. So we're going to squeeze and back in. Squeeze. So you see the tea bag bump? Squeeze. So we're squeezing the chest and the glutes at the same time. Right, let's uh, let's get stuck into this. Abs I've absolutely took a chance wearing this this morning. It's nice, isn't it? It's the lilac, the new lilac set for Versa. But when I had a sore stomach, it wouldn't be the colour to wear if you shat yourself. Do you know what I mean? Not that that's ever happened. Fingers crossed. That Rice Krispie Square has absolutely done me. Uh, sorry, I know that's probably TMI, but I feel like I can tell you guys anything. So, <laughs> let's, um, let's go for a, a flat chest press. Sorry, that talk of shit myself is totally uh, through me. Um, <laughs> flat chest press with a glute bridge. Right, get your weights. You know, once I trained with a guy, it was a big, uh, a big bodybuilding guy. It was no long when I first started bodybuilding and his name was Dave Crossland. And he actually said to me, he went, uh, you know, when you're training, if you don't shit yourself, have a nosebleed, faint or be sick, you're not doing it right. And I was like, but the first, I first thought in my head was, oh, I'd never want to shit myself. Like, I don't even know if I'd be proud of that. I trained so hard, I shat myself. Do you know what I mean? I'd much rather like the nosebleed or the whitey. So, just, I mean, maybe, maybe there is some points in that, like some shit yourself points, but not for me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be up for that. Right, <laughs> that, that's just a mess. That's not a sign you've trained hard, that's a fucking mess. Right. Although Tom has shat himself, so he's he's a uh, he's trained that hard to shat himself. We tell you that himself, it's not a secret. Right, anyway, <laughs> enough about shit for one day. Let's get in a chest press position. So we're going for a chest press, a chest press, go for a chest press straight into a glute bridge. Here we go. Press and down, glutes down. Press, glutes, press. Glutes. <laughs> press. Glutes. Press. Press into the heels for your glutes. That's as good. Up we go. Here we go. Easy. <laughs> Keep going. Right. Remember, it's two separate movements. So don't get to the hip thrust before the before your chest presses down. Keep squeezing. Squeeze the butt cheeks, that's it. Good, keep it coming. Easy. Keep going. Oh. Keep going. We got this. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Feel it where you're meant to feel it. Ten to go. Easy. Come on. Almost there. I've no shot myself yet. So we're doing well. <laughs> Five to go. We're going to go straight into these kickbacks with the pulse. So really it's just one kickback 
And then a constant pulse. Last rep of this. Right, ditch your weights. Come on to all fours. Grateful as ever me. Hands directly under the shoulders. And we take one leg back, small pulse. Literally, just think, I actually think I am squeezing just the one bum cheek. Don't think about moving for the toe, think about moving for the butt cheek. Let the butt cheek do the work. A big muscle your bum, it can pull your full leg. Come on. Okay, relaxing this one down. Other side. Remember, it's the butt cheek that's making the pull. You find that you really need to concentrate on your butt cheek to make sure that's what's working and you're not just moving your toe. Keep going. Back to the original leg. Butt cheek squeeze. Very small move, but actually quite painful. I'm definitely feeling it. Please be squeezing your butt cheek or you'll be feeling fuck all. Other than your hip flexor trying to keep your leg afloat. And change. Oh, nasty. Squeeze the butt, small pulses with the butt cheek. That's what I want you to think, that we're going squeeze, squeeze, pong, pong. And relax. Okay, pull back on that, stretch them cheeks. Yeah. Before we get into these bear presses, <laughs> the reality of a bum, right, is that even the people that look like they've got really nice bums, it's usually very well distributed fat because uh, you um, you are a lot of your fat will go to your butt cheeks. What I found is through dieting and losing a lot of body fat. Some people will start to diet and they'll be like, where has my big ass went? Right? So generally what I try to do with my clients is even if it looks like they've got a great bum, um, we try and change the comp the ratio of muscle to fat. So ideally you'd want your bum, even if it's a great bum already, if you could change 10% wise, so if you could add 10% muscle and lose 10% fat, if you did decide to diet or lose fat overall, you would still have a nice round bum at the end. Um, because I was the first time I ever dieted five years ago, I dieted and I was like, ah, where has my arse went? Where has it went? Somebody's came and stole my arse when I was sleeping. No, I just didn't actually have an arse under the fat. <laughs> so that's why we're always doing these weak kind of moves that, that don't seem like big movers, but they all add up, right? And I know that things like kickbacks and all that get a bad rap, but Believe me, accompanied with an actual training plan that includes squats and lunges and split squats and elevated raises and thrusts, then you're going to build a cracking bum. Right, we're going for the uh, bear presses. We're going to just do three sets of five. So, <laughs> right, three sets of five. Now, this is the ones where I want your knees to be floating. Uh -huh. So I'm tucking my toes already. I'm going to come back into the forward position and I'm going to just pull my knees off the floor. And I'm going to go straight in because it's too hard to float about in that position. I can float in a bit like Harry Potter. Cruising about Hogwarts, right? So straight up and then straight down. Knees up. Here we go. And come back. For a wee rest and we're going to go again so knees up here we go and 
and a wee rest. And we're going to go for the last set. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees up. And relax. Oh, that's horrible and ugly. And um, one day we'll be able to do that much better. Uh, right, upright thrust with a pec fly. So grab your band. Now, these pec flies with a band only work if you're squeezing the chest. So I feel like a lot of people don't understand how to squeeze their chest. You can visibly see mine squeezing. Right, so when you squeeze it, you should feel it tightening in here. If you grab that wee bit under your oakster, an oakster is an underarm in Scotland. If you grab that wee bit under there and squeeze, you'll feel it, uh, you'll feel it, right? So you, I'm trying to think what would, if you didn't know how to squeeze your chest, what would make you? Um, right, there's a big fucking brick flying at you. Somebody's flung a brick, is what you play scheme dodgeball, and they flung a brick at you, and it's going to hit you, so you need to go, oh, right? That's what I want you to think about when we're doing this. So, we're here, right? The brick's coming, and you need to go, oh, with the Hulk, and then make a wee, a wee cuddle, right? Last me when I get these descriptions. They just come to me, it's like fucking magic. And along with that, we're going to do a thrust because, you know, bum gains. So, feet together, knees apart, sit back on your heels, right? We're just going to get right into this. We're going to thrust and let the brick hit us at the same time. So, with the arms, you're making a hugging shape, okay? Here we go. Thrust, squeeze everything. Thrust, squeeze everything. Good. Easy, come on. Keep pushing the hips through, keep squeezing that chest. This brick's going to bounce off you like a bouncy ball. Your chest is that tough, you need to squeeze it. Come on. So how about the squeezing? We're squeezing and we're breathing. Yes. I talk some shit sometimes, but it works. Shit, it works. <laughs> Push, come on. Keep the tension. Come on. Bricks bouncing off you little internet insults. Boof. Take that. Come on. Ten. Nine. Oh, eight. Squeeze the glutes through. Last one. And relax. Oh, 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 that was not nice. Right, we're going to go for another one. Uh, just one last exercise because it is a halogen. Oh, right. There are a couple of variations on this. Ideally, I want you to do the hard one, or at least try the hard one first, and then go, fuck that, and try the easier one. But, I'll show you both. So, I like to call them firework fannies, right? That is not what they're called. <laughs> of course it's not what they're called. They're called clam thrusters. And the advanced ones, like a straight leg abduction. But where is the fun in that? Please, tell me. Honestly, when I uh, when I trained to be a coach, <laughs> I was just like, all these names sound technical, like all these exercise names, um, and they are technical, but I just like to like to change them sometimes. So this is your classic firework, Fanny. Right, we're here, elbows in line with the hips, hips are facing forwards, right, and you're going to push up first and then you're going to go fireworks whoosh right bring it back bring it back in first fireworks close 
and down. I mean, how would you feel to remember that? You wouldn't. Um, I would put on Katy Perry firework, but then I wouldn't be allowed to post this video on YouTube. So we won't be doing that, right? Right, the advanced, uh, the advanced option is you're on your hands, uh huh, and we're going to push through the foot. So we push to here, and then we lift the leg while keeping the body straight. Come down, push, lift the leg. Oh, that's hard. Ugh. Right, so we are going to start with a hard option. We're only going to do 10 each side. Um, and then that'll be us done. Right, so let's go out with a bang. Fireworks. Here we go. Get into position. So the first one, the harder one, you are on your hand. Uh-huh. And in fact, I'll do my legs this side because you've kind of seen. So this foot is flat because as I push up like this, it's going to force into the floor. And then that foot's lifting and coming back down. Right, ready to go for it? Try and get in a wee bit more in a position where you guys can see me. Only 10. Right. Here we go. So this is going to let a mermaid line on the rocks. Then you float up and lift your leg. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Alternatively, you can be doing the clam thrusts, which are totally fine. Three. Four. Five. Relax. Oh, that was hard. Ugh. I should really... <laughs> I should really endeavour to practice these things before I just throw them in videos in the morning. Shouldn't I? But no, caution to the wind and all that. Right. Again, remember, your other option is thrust for here. Fireworks. That's totally viable. I completely understand that that was difficult. Right? I found that difficult. And I've been training for five years. <laughs> so, the fanny fireworks is absolutely an option. Right. Otherwise, we go mermaid. And pushing up with the hips. Leg. Coming down. Up with the hips. Up with the hips. Good. Come on. Good. Two. Uh, three. Four. Last one. And relax. Oh. Uh. Uh. That was horrible. But I'll do them again because that actually needs work, doesn't it? And that's what we do. We don't run away from the horrible stuff. So, let's have a wee stretch. You are going to take your left leg, foot under the knee, and crunch your pelvis forwards, and then sink into that leg. And while we're here, we're going to clasp the hands behind the back and stretch the chest. So you're trying to force your hands down this leg. And coming back in. We'll go the same on the second side. Ankle underneath. Tip your pelvis first. Push forwards. Big stretch. Ugh. Clasp the hands. And it's like you're trying to draw them down the back of the leg. Good, and release that, let that go. We're going to pull back. Now we did a wee bit of core there with that last move, if you did the upright ones. So get into a child's pose. So feet together or apart if you can't get back. Knees apart, sink in. 
keep pushing the bum down towards the floor. We are going to walk your hands over to the left. And when you do this, I want you to sit back on the left, the right bum cheek. So really push the right bum cheek down and you should get a big stretch up the side. And take the hands over to your right and push, really push into the, le into the left bum cheek. And you should get a big stretch up the side and through your back. And coming up. Right, that is nowhere near enough stretching, but it is all, it is all the stretching that uh, that we're going to do the do, the do the do, that we're going to do the day. So I would love for you guys to stretch a wee bit more on your own because that's not enough. Thank you. I love my tattoos and I love Tom. We same same. Um. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm actually just thankful that I didn't shit myself through that. That was an achievement in itself. I hope none of you guys shat yourself. But, you know, if you did, nobody needs to know. Um, yeah, I'll see you Thursday, actually. Thursday right here. Thank you for joining me. And have a great Tuesday. <laughs>